Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you something I made for Minecraft, and this is actually something I'm going to be using because soon I am moving my server from bck.me to somewhere else. So, in that case, what you would do uh, to make sure everyone knows where that new place is, is you could host an old server and then lock it down with permissions or something, uh, but that's really not a good way to go about it because you're running a huge Minecraft server, it's taking gigabytes of memory, well maybe not gigabytes if no one's using it, but uh, certainly not the most efficient way to go about it. Uh, so I have made my own little program that will interface with Minecraft, it'll be like kind of a fake server. So uh, here it is, you run it, uh, this is a Python program dot py. Uh, it'll run on Python's version 2 and 3 on Linux and 2 and 3 on Windows. I've tested them both. Uh, so when you refresh it, it has a configurable message right here. Uh, it's got the current and total number of players. You can change that as you want, actually. Uh, when you try to join it, it sends you a different message. You can say down for maintenance. You can say it's moved to somewhere else. Uh, and actually, on the second one, I have the total and current number of plays set to zero, and if you do that, it just says question marks. So maybe you want to do that. Uh, when you refresh the list, when anyone refreshes it and it's on its their bookmark list, you see their IP address. In this case, it's just my IP address on my home network. And when they try to join it, you get their IP address, and you also get the name that they tried to log in with. Um, here's where you set the uh, all those variables. You set the, this is the message of the day, so that would be the message that shows up right here. And then here's the join message when it disconnects you. Uh, that's the message that pops up there. And then current and total number of players. And this is your network on your home network and here's the port and they all have to be in quotes except for the port by the way. Um, I'm probably going to be putting this up on pastebin. I'm definitely going to be sharing the code. It's also multi-threaded meaning it can handle more than one connection at one time. So if there's a really slow connection or like a half open connection it will actually be able to accept connections even when it's uh, stuck on an old connection or something. So yeah, um, I'll be sharing this. You can pick it up if you have one of these, uh, if you're moving a server or you just need to do maintenance on a server. This will be a good tool to have.